Hello, and my name is Jamie, and I'm a paleontologist here at Fossils Glar. And we also have. I'm Sarah, and I'm an up and coming paleontologist. Today, I'm going to tell you about um, about our discovery back in February of our iguanodon skeleton called Indy. Um, so it first started off as a routine site visit to a brickworks in Ewhurst in Surrey, and we discovered in the main layers at the top of the site. Uh, where dinosaur bones are known to be found and as we worked further along then Sarah made a discovery to begin with. Yeah so as we were looking through the different layers in the cliff I spotted a tiny bone which we now know comes from the tail of this dinosaur. As soon as I saw it I knew it was something different so I shouted straight at Jamie to come and have a look at it. He took one look at it and knew it was from a dinosaur. We had to then work out where that bone had come from because there was a bit of rock on there that was from a completely different layer so it looked like it wasn't anywhere from the layers where we normally look at. So we worked our way down um, around the site and we saw where there was tracks from a, a bulldozer that was uh, pushing the dirt around before we arrived. And we followed those tracks down and we found the rock layer where this, this bone would have come from. So in that rock layer we come across um, one of these bones just sticking out, so this one that we have here. And it was from that we then looked further into the blocks and I had an inkling to split that rock open and see if there was any more bones inside. So once we split it open, it was bone after bone after bone, so it went further and further in. And that's when we knew, right, well, we've definitely got a dinosaur, haven't we? Once we got all the blocks out of the quarry <clears throat> and took them down to be worked on to take the protective layers off, uh, we came across this bone here, which is one of the diagnostic bones, which is a thumb spike from the animal. So the only animal that would have had a thumb spike um, from that layer would have been an iguanodon skeleton. Um, so it's from that that we, we found out what exactly Indy was. Working through the rock layers, uh, we found out that Indy was around about 132 million years old and ended up in a, an old river of the time, um, possibly died in the river, we don't know just yet, so that's something that we're still working on to, to find out the rest of the story of Indy. From there, we made sure we got everything all ready uh, to be transported back to our centre, so we had to uh, continue taking off all the protective layers and then wrapping the bones, recording them, wrapping them, um, wrapping them up a bit like a Christmas turkey and then putting them onto pallets and packaging them up and getting them ready for transport. This was in preparation to have them transported all the way from Surrey to Fossils Galore here in March. Once they were here we had them taken up to our pre-made preparation laboratory where they are now on display with a team of volunteers working on them, ready for the public to come and watch us uncover all the bones. So far, we've got around about 90 plus percent of this animal, um, and we suspect we've got even more than that. Um, so at the moment, we're looking around about, it could take about four to five years to fully prepare this, this specimen and make it ready for display. There is so much that we don't know at the moment about iguanodons that we'd like to, to learn more about. We believe Indy is the key to unlocking the secrets about this species of animal. Indy is the key to the future success at Fossils Galore. So it's a one of a kind um, discovery and it's something the public can come and see. So it's unusual so you can come and watch us uncover more bones and you'll get to learn along with us as we uncover more of its secrets. As more and more of these specimens are being found, it's our vision to open up more and more centres around the country to make paleontology more accessible to the public and all around. So what lies beneath our feet waiting for you to discover? Well come to Fossils Galore and we can show you. It will be fun.